the length of the hydraulic cylinder and the angle that it makes to the vertical. So we're looking for this length right here, BD. That triangle is not a right triangle. So we are going to use the law of sines and cosines to figure out what its length is and what the angle is to the vertical. So I'm looking for this angle. I want to drop a couple lines over here to these other triangles and use them as right triangles to figure out what the lengths are of OB and OD. So if I look at this first triangle right here, I can say that OB is the square root of 85 squared plus 25 squared, or that one is 88.600. And if I'm looking at alpha, that's going to be the arc, the inverse tan of 25 over 85, opposite over adjacent. So that gives me alpha is equal to 16.390 degrees. Similarly, I've got OD is the square root of 20, 225 squared plus 25 squared. So OD is 226.38 by the Pythagorean theorem. And beta is the inverse tan of 25 over 225. That's from the second triangle. That gives me beta is 6.34. Now if I'm looking at the, the original triangle, which was not a right triangle, if I know that this angle alpha is 16.39 degrees, and this angle beta is 6.34 degrees, then 90 theta is going to be 90 minus alpha minus beta, or I'm dealing with 90 minus 16.39 minus 6.34. So that's this angle theta. Once I've got this nice triangle, I can use the law of sines and cosines. So BD by the law of cosines is the square root of OB squared plus OD squared minus 2 times OB times OD times the cosine of the angle in between them, which in this case is theta. And that gives me 310 for BD. That's the length of my hydraulic cylinder here. I still need to find out what the angle is to the vertical, so I'm looking for this angle. I can find the whole angle here by using the law of sines. So that angle, the sine of that angle, over OD, or depending on whether you like having your distances on the top or your distances on the bottom, is going to be the same as BD divided by the sine of theta. So I know a lot of this. I can figure out what this angle is right here. For this entire angle, let's call that delta, to distinguish it from the angle alpha I had above. So that angle ends up being 157.27 degrees. And I need to subtract out this little bit in here. That little bit in there is the same as alpha, because if you draw like this, you've got alternating interior angles. So if this is alpha, then so is that. So by those alternating interior angles, I can tell you that the angle I'm looking for is 80.845 degrees. And like all of these problems at the end of the day, what you need to do is actually answer the question. The hydraulic cylinder is 310 long to three sig figs, so you're going to have 310 point at 64.4 degrees to the vertical.